God blessings everybody, this is the Gaming Christian with yet another Let's Check. And this time we are going to check the packaging for Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe. That's an uh, old MS-DOS games. Um, yeah, it's a very old PC game. See, IBM stuff and there are, you know, disc, <laughs> you know, floppy disk. Yeah, we're going to check out um, uh, what the packaging. We're going to check out the packaging and what's inside of it. So that's what. It, that's why it's called a let's check. And this time, we will check out this old PC game. It's an old PC game. It's a collector's item. I mean, I'm not so sure how easy this game is to get, how hard or how easy. But it surely is. Uh, well, I have it in my collection, so it's pretty cool actually. So. Let's check out the packaging first. Beautiful artwork as usual. Uh, the game itself looks old as you can see. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it's sitting dark, no, flash attack, wow. <laughs> yeah, this is really, um, yeah, it's really an old game. And, um, you know, I'm just very glad to have it because this looks a lot like a comic book. I mean, as you can see, this is like a comic book, you know, Window, yeah, window. And this seems like a beautiful art book art, you know. Yeah, this is this looks actually pretty good. It, it has 3.5 disc, unbelievable. It was made by Lucasfilm Games, unbelievable. By Lawrence Holland. Yeah, I don't know who Lawrence uh, Holland is, but, you know. And we are going to check out. Yeah, of course, this is the back, but I already showed you that. It's a beautiful, but you know, it's pretty interesting. This is doom, this is ta da! Well, the, the interesting part of this packaging most of the time I would never do a standard packaging, most of the time I would only do special editions. But this is a very special package from inside because you can get stuff inside. As you can see, this is it. And this is P38 Lightning. And that's probably the, um, how do you call that? It's probably uh, a um, expansion of the game itself. Yeah. So that's what you get with the game. That's pretty cool. This is a... This is the full game on CD-ROM. Yeah, so... If you if you don't if, you, if your diskette doesn't work, you can always try the uh, CD. First, I don't I don't um, my computer, uh, even my oldest computer, my XP computer, won't run. Uh, this game won't run on my XP computer. I also have a Windows Seven computer, but um, yeah, my my Windows um, XP computer doesn't. Um, this game doesn't work on my Windows XP computer. So yeah, I have it, but I haven't played it yet. You know, originally. These are the diskettes, of course. They look pretty cool. Disc 4, yeah, disc 1, disc 2. Pretty awesome, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I really uh, I really enjoyed um, uh, having these uh, games because I'm a collector as well. So I might as well make a gaming channel out of it. And this is something very interesting. I have no idea what this is. What, what it is, but I don't know. I really have no idea what this is. Here's the uh, secret webs of the Luftwaffe, Lucas uh, Film Games. That's it. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what um, what this holds. You know, you see, this is. I mean, when you when you turn this table, you see a name here, and the arrow points at certain objects. You know. Like this is a mean looking dog and you get the names like Jan, <laughs> that's a Dutch name, um, Sherry, Melissa, Heather, Laura and Jan again. Well, I have no idea where I should, maybe it's uh, maybe you can use it in the game, maybe you can use this when the game tells you, but overall I have no idea what to do with it but it's a cool item to have in the game you know it's all very old so it's it's just cool that everything is still intact and that everything is still 
um, you know, it works, I guess, you know, it's old, it's from the 80s, I think, this game. So it's pretty cool to have all of this stuff in the package, you know. And it still looks uh, pretty good, it still, it still looks like new, kind of, yeah. Right, this is, um, of course, the instruction manual, look at this, yeah, this, that's the old-fashioned way, I think. And it's awesome. It's so awesome. Look at these old pictures. I mean, there are old pictures in it. Let me just look. Picture. Oh, this is actually in-game. But there are some pictures. Oh, let me just find them. In a few seconds here. Look. Yeah, this is an old uh, picture, I guess. Ooh, this is the map. Awesome. Yeah, it's 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 very sweet. Here is my country. <laughs> here is uh, English. England. English. England. Here is Belgium. Which is pretty huge. Oh my gosh, Belgium is pretty huge. France, that sort of thing. Yeah, you have um, ah, these old black and white pictures. Just look at this. And this is overall a. Um, yeah, this is sort of like a book. Not, not only this, is, not only is this a. Um, uh, not only is this a. Um, this is actually some sort of a history book, as you can see. This is a history book, you know. This is actually a true story, Secret, Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe. So, and they made a game about it. And although I don't really buy games where about um, events that really uh, happened, but overall it's just a video game. And it's, yeah, this is actually the instruction manual plus a little plus loads of history, loads of information about uh, airplanes. It's very cool. This is actually the most coolest. This this book is actually the reason for me to make this. Uh, let's check. All right, let's just uh, keep on further. This is something more, brochures. No, no, no. Now this, now this is the instruction manual for the game. This, was an old history book with, you know, information in it. Very cool. This is an instruction book. You know, the only instruction book you will find, actually. Yeah, I thought uh, this. Uh, I thought this book was also an instruction book, but yeah, there there were some information about it, but most of it is about the history of that game and about the history of the World War II, where this game actually been happening. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. And some more brochures. What's this? Oh, this is uh, this is the instruction manual for the um, for the uh, expansion of this game. Oh, it up. Yep. Cool. Oh. Brochures. <laughs> All right. This is um, this is a Dutch one for korte handleiding MS DOS. That's the um, that's short guide MS DOS. That's what the um, translation is. And here is a guide to use MS DOS. Can you believe it? No. Nah. MS DOS was great. You had all these wonderful two dimensional games. Beautiful. And this is a reference guide. Whoa! The fun is still not uh, over. Yeah, a reference guide. Just like this one. This is an American reference guide, and this is a Dutch reference guide. All right. Well, we're almost done. There's still more. Wow, this is... Well... Back in the day, almost every computer had this. I mean, almost every computer. Almost every, you know, video game package has this. And you can send them in and you can get free stuff. Which is also was awesome. This is the ticket. Well, I didn't bought it. Original, of course. I wasn't even born yet, I think. But... Um, this is also information. Where they thank you. Um, where they thank you for buying the game. Right. Yeah. Well, I haven't bought this uh, original, so it was from the former owner. You know, a colleague of mine had this, and I bought it over from him since I am a collector and all. So, you know, and this was one of the games. Well, we have all these uh, books, especially this one. This is the most coolest of them all. This is the whole reason why this whole thing is so. He why this thing is pretty heavy. We have this weird little thing. We have the CD-ROM. Whoa! Don't, don't go out of it. 
we have the expansion pack and we have the game itself on this cat. All bundled in a nice package. Right, God blessings, God blessings, God blessings, everybody. This was the game in Christian with a let's check of the game package with everything in it from Secret Weapons of the Luftwaffe. Um, I'll see you later. I am the Gaming Christian and I will see you the next time with some more gaming goodness. Goodbye, everybody.